Hello friends, in this video we will learn about Andersen's mate. The pattern is named after Adolf Andersen, a German chess master from the 19th century. Let us study this pattern from his game against Zuckertod from 1869. Andersen is playing here with the white pieces and his last move was rook c to g1, putting pressure on g7 pawn and threatening the move rook takes g7 check. In the game, black chose very interesting defense with the move king h8, which stops rook takes g7 because queen takes f3 would be checked and black would be fine. But instead of this, white had f takes g7 checked and king g8. And black was hoping that this pawn on g7 would work as a shelter for his king and white's attack is no longer real. But white played a spectacular move here, the move queen to h6. Now note that this bishop cannot be taken because of queen takes h7, a tremendous sacrifice. After king takes h7, white will play the move rook to h3 and after king g8, rook h8, it would be checkmate. Now this is the common pattern in Anderson's mate where a pawn on the 7th rank defends a heavy piece, usually a rook, to give checkmate from the h8 square. Note that this pawn is also guarded by one of the white pieces. So in the game, instead of taking the bishop on d3, Black tried the move queen d6, but once again we have Anderson's mate starting with the move queen takes h7, king takes h7, f6 check first. This bishop is giving discover check and after queen takes d3, rook h3 check and king g8, we once again have Anderson's mate with the move rook to h8. Note this pattern where the pawn on g7 guards this rook and the pawn is also guarded by one of the white pieces. Now let us look at the next example. So in this position, it is black to play and checkmate in 5 moves. Once again, you can see we have a pawn on g2 which is protected nicely by this bishop and we have only one heavy piece in the pos position which is the queen on a1. And if we could magically bring this queen from a1 to h1 square, it would be checkmate. And we do that forcefully by playing the move bishop takes h2 check. Now this is the common motif in Anderson's mate to open up the rook's file for a heavy piece to land on the h1 square and bishop take h2 does that exactly after king takes h2 we have this amazing backward move with the move queen to h8 and now king g1 is forced as king g3 is not possible because the knight is guarding that square and after king g1 queen to h1 would be checkmate once again we have anderson's mate here this pawn is protecting the queen and this pawn is also protected by the bishop as well as the queen in this case now let us study the next example now this is the game between Gunsberg and Shalpop and let us see the game from this position. So black played the move here bishop f3 protecting his pawn on g2 which is which as we know is quite an important asset in a position. And white tried the move rook e1 here attacking this e8 rook which is currently attacked by two of the white pieces. But black in the game ignores this threat and plays the move queen f6. And after this move, white resigns as he realizes that rook takes e8 is met with a fantastic shot again. Again, we want to bring this queen to h1 to deliver checkmate. And we have forced moves to do that, starting with the move bishop to h2 check. Now king takes h2 is forced because there are no other moves. And after queen takes h4, king g1 and queen h1, it is once again Anderson's mate. So now, to end the video, I have a puzzle for you. Now in this position, it is white to play and checkmate. You can pause the video and think. So once again, you can see we have this pawn on g7 and we want to play the heavy piece to the h8 square. But if we play rook h8, then this pawn is hanging. So instead of rook h8, we have the more rook to d8 check here which forces the rook to capture this because there are no other moves and after rook take d8, queen take d8 although this rook on h7 is hanging we have the move queen h8 here and the queen is protected by the pawn and pawn does not re need any other protection when it is defended by the queen itself so once again it is an Anderson's mate so this is all that you need to know about the Anderson's mate thank you